check this out. Trump's recent comments a couple of days ago, if I'm not mistaken, it was on Twitter. He said something along the lines of that we have congresswomen that don't like America. They should go back to their countries, fix them, then come back and then tell, you know, show us how it's done. Something along those lines. And because obviously Trump is white and, you know, they, they call him literally Hitler. He's racist and so forth. They are going to pin race on that. So people are itching to justify it. People are denouncing people are pearl clutching there's a lot of meltdown surrounding it because if somebody white says something or along the lines of telling someone to go back to the country that they come from they're going to pin a race on that even though that is not synonymous to race like telling somebody for example to go if they're born in mexico you tell them to go back to mexico that's not racist because mexico is a fucking country same thing if you told somebody that's and it may be in America, and then they uh, they were from Canada, and you say, go fuck back to Canada. That wouldn't be racist because Canada is a goddamn country. But that's neither here nor there. I just thought that it was funny because I get, you know, I too get told to leave the country a lot. And it tends to come, not exclusively, I've had mainstream conservatives say this as well, but it tends to come from leftists when I uh, say I'm against taxation. Obviously, I'm an anarcho-capitalist and libertarian, so taxation is theft by way of extortion. Um, so anytime I'm in opposite or I oppose something that the government does, some of the first things that these guys tend to bring up is telling me to move to the country, another country, right? That's usually the first thing they bring up. And the number one thing, and most libertarians will agree, the number one it's just up there with who built the roads. The number one thing that these level one defaulters point to is they will say, hey, you should move to Somalia. So I guess if I was using their logic, I should be calling all leftists, certainly those white leftists, that call me, that tell me to move to Somalia because it's in Africa and I'm black. Maybe I should just pin racism on it. But the reason why they reference Somalia, for those that don't know, is because um, they like to use that as sort of this beacon of anarchism, right? And they say move to Somalia because even though Somalia is a failed socialist state, never mind that, that's usually the number one default. So I wanted to show you guys something because I thought this was hilarious. I went to my Twitter and I wanted to go find some old tweets that I could reference and, and, and really see what was going down with them. Um, uh, people bringing up Somalia and telling me to move, right? So you got this guy. He says, if you want to, I don't know why he's typing like this, by the way, if you want to run a successful company in a land with no taxes, then move to one of Trump's shithole countries with no laws and government, which, again, fucking Somalia has has a government. They have laws. I hear Somalia is lovely this time of year. Um, or buy some yada yada in the desert. So he's telling me to move to Somalia, basically. Um, and this is the same guy, and I went to look on his page. He's retweeting all of this shit about people uh, being told to go to the countries. And this is usually in reference to Omar, which is probably who exactly we had in mind because I believe she's a Somalian, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm like, wait a minute. Y'all tell me to move to Somalia all the time. It's not racist. So if you go up and down this guy's timeline, he's pearl clutching as well about the president's comments. This guy is the same dude that told me just a year ago, literally a year ago, that he told me to move to Somalia, basically. Move to one of Trump's shit old countries, and then he says, I hear Somalia is lovely. Now somebody tells tells them to go to, uh, uh, tells Omar to go to Somalia. Now it's racist. But there's a number of people saying, and no, I can go to my Twitter and my Facebook all day long. Uh, if you want to anarchy, go to Sudan or Central African countries. Like, again, I'm black, remind you. So I should be pinning racism on all these guys. This guy's name's Cain Vasquez. So I don't know if he's a Spaniard, but he looks, he might be, you know, of Mexican descent. Ironically, somebody maybe of Mexican descent is telling me to move to goddamn Africa. <laughs> and yeah, he's also posting things um, regarding fucking what this the same shit talking about progressives and yada yada um it's the same thing this guy to take a trip to liberia or somalia because i said that you know 
no taxing. That sounds like a fantastic time. This guy here as well moved to a third world country. I get this shit all the time. I get it all the time. And I never thought that what I should have been doing, if I wanted to cause some sort of stir and uproar, I should have been calling these folks racist. I should have been calling these people racist. That's one of the main number one defaults that I get. When I say that I'm opposing, let's say, anything, any law, definitely my overall ideology, right? They tell me to move to Somalia. They tell me to move to another country. Revoke your citizenship. They tell me all this sorts of shit. I get this all the time. Leave. Trump tells them the same shit. He tells them to come back. They don't ever tell me to come back. He at least told, you know, told them to come back. They don't ever tell me that shit. They just tell me to get the fuck out. But because they can't pin a race on it, because nobody's telling me, I guess, to go back to where I come, you know, I came from, essentially. Because I was, you know, I was born in Texas. I live in a city that I was, you know, I was born in. So nobody can really say that. And it would it would be self-detonating for them to do that. Think about it. And the, what I usually say when people say this dumb shit, I ask them, it's like, is that what you, is that what you told black people during, let's say, civil rights era, or black people that were obviously against slavery? Is that what you told them when they were in opposition to some sort of law that was an act of aggression or something that the government was doing? They didn't agree with it? Is that what you told them? You told them to fucking just move? You don't like it? You don't like having these, uh, you don't like the Louisiana box car, you know, act or whatever, the separate box car act. You don't like that. Oh, well, move. You don't want to be a slave? Move. You don't want the slave laws, Jim Crow laws? Move. Right? They And they'd be like, no, I wouldn't say, it's, it's different, right? And they'll start moving the goalposts and all sorts of shit. This is what it boils down to, people. And I don't know how many times I got to point this shit out on this channel. Leftists, these sorts of leftists, do not give a shit about being consistent. They will move the goalposts repeatedly as many times as they can. And they will deploy the same tactic that they claim somebody else does it and it's out of races. Or a bad thing. They'll do the same shit. Why? Because it's about them being on top. It's about them having a moral high ground. It's not about being just, it's not about it being fair. It's not about, it certainly isn't about ridding the world of racism. I mean, you guys follow me. I retweet stuff all the time about, you know, these progressives saying racist, sh derogatory shit to me. God forbid a black person isn't a fucking progressive. I get called all kinds of N words, uncle this, um, raccoon, like all of that shit. I got caught all of that. Just kind of brush it off, cause I, I mean, you guys are fucking idiots. Let's just be, let's just be one hundred with it, man. You guys are fucking idiots, man. I can't get mad at shit like that, and your your arguments are just too easy to defeat. But I wanted to make this video to show you guys how full of shit these guys are. One, two of them I showed you, right? These same people are irate a year afterwards. Irate a year afterwards. Because Trump dared to tell, tell somebody to, again, largely probably referencing Omar, Congresswoman Omar, who is Somalian. These same motherfuckers tell me to move there. So the same, literally in the text, move to Somalia is mad because somebody, the president told him to go back to Somalia. You can't make this shit up, man. You can't. You can't make it up. This is glorious. But on a serious note, and your homework for today is when you see there's some sort of outrage, I encourage you to take a step back, reanalyze the entire situation. And quite often, you will find that there are a lot of ulterior motives, a lot of inconsistencies, a lot of self-detonation and a lot of people advocating for things that they, you know, were diametrically seemingly opposed to before. But because it's a guy that's not on their team, that's participating in the same behavior, and then they can pin some sort of ism on it, then it's, it's like, oh, wait a 
Betty, you you can't say that, but they can say that shit. So it's rules for you, not for them, right? Get a grip. 